Hey Jeff, so I have discovered your channel and the first thing I came across is your contest. So congratulations to your 300 subscribers and uh, I thought why not giving it a try and uh, to create a, a answer contest answer video. I've never won anything in my life so um, why not uh, give it another try. <laughs> So, uh, regarding uh, your three questions, the first one was, what is my favorite debut album? And uh, that's this one. It's an album called Taihan by the Japanese uh, jazz musician Toshinori Kondo. Uh, Toshinori Kondo is a trumpet player and uh, he was a... he was a part of the New York scene around 1978 to 1983 um, he was part of this whole no wave scene which uh, was happening at this time so around people like Bill Laswell and Material and uh, Lydia Lunch and so on so he played on a lot of records before he made his own first album which is this one this came out in 1984 yeah I, li I like the record it's a uh, sort of a uh, mixture of uh, no wave music certainly that's the most dominant genre in this sound in the, on this record but uh, it's nicely mixed with jazz with sort of a jazzy vibe and new wave music so uh, it has its own fascinating atmosphere so um, it's a good record Taihan by Toshinori Kondo the second question was about uh, a particular album or record that was difficult to obtain or most difficult to obtain my answer might be a little boring in that department because I never had really major trouble with ordering something or receiving or finding it but uh, I had a bit of a bad luck with this record this is Technodelic by Yellow Magic Orchestra because when I ordered this many years ago for the first time it just didn't arrive the package got lost and uh, then I found another seller and ordered it a second time and um, this time it was I ordered it from I think from from the Netherlands yes and it didn't arrive again I mean I was looking for a particular um, edition that is complete with uh, this big booklet inside and so on so uh, this time uh, it was returned to the sender um, and uh, with the explanation that uh, they couldn't find the address so I remember I, I had uh, transferred another 10 or 12 euro to the guy that was selling it just to motivate him to give it another try. Well, and this time, third time was a charm, I got my record. So I was really happy to... <laughs> I was really happy to be done <laughs> with that project. Um, but this was probably the only kind of complicated situation around... Um, the effort to get or find some record. Now the third question and probably the most interesting one is if there is some kind of a highlight for me coming from a genre or category of music that I usually don't listen to. And yeah, that's an easy one because uh, um, I was never really much interested in what you could describe as a sort of a mainstream hard rock music or or even sort of a middle-of-the-road blues rock sound. This had never particularly interested me. Um, I do respect, I do respect sort of the founding fathers of hard rock, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, but I don't think I've listened to this kind of music for the last 25 years. I just, on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't feel drawn to it. But I respect for what it is and uh, the musicianships behind it, no question. So that's not my kind of, that's not my cup of tea, yet uh, this record here, the first uh, solo album by Greg Lake, um, which is exactly in the middle of this kind of sound, um, is actually one of my favorite records. Uh, so Greg Lake has recorded this album in the early 80s, I think, together with Gary Moore. And Gary Moore is all over the place on this record. I mean, there are amazing guitar solos, and uh, yeah, and it's a it's a bona fide hard rock slash blues rock album, no doubt about that. So technically, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be appealing to me, but um, as a matter of fact, it pretty much is. It's a great record, and great fun to listen. 
and uh, it still sounds very fresh to me. So uh, while I don't spend much time with this genre, I've heard this uh, this LP quite often. So those were my uh, three answers, and uh, once again, congratulations. My response video comes pretty late, but uh, I think the deadline is until tomorrow, so hopefully I will make it. So uh, keep it spinning and uh, goodbye.